the Glendronic cask strength batch yet. That's what we're focusing on today. Stay tuned, and let's talk whiskey. Greetings, whiskey lovers. I'm Big Al. This is Whiskey Street. You can join me on my spiritual odyssey through the wonderful world of whiskey. So if whiskey's your thing, jump right in, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. Glendronic releases its cask strength batches every year, and they're usually snapped up pretty quickly. Now this is all part of the distillery's tradition of maturing whiskey in the finest Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso Sherry cask. Now this batch, eight, is a 10 year old expression and it's bottled at the natural cask strength of 61% ABV and obviously that means it's all natural in colour and non-chill filtered, just the way we like it. So please pour yourself a dram, particularly this if you've got it, and let's share this tasting experience together. Just look at how nice and rich and tawny that is. And just take a look at those legs as well. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, so let's start off with the nose and take it from there. Sloncha. Unmistakably sherry, just as you're bringing it up right in the arrival, there's sherry, but then a dude attacked like a bit of milky, malty chocolate. But it's fairly brief, and then we're right back into the sherry. And what's slightly different about this sherry than I normally get is it's both sweet and it's savoury, but it's perfectly balanced, and not one is outdoing the other. Now it really does engage the nostrils straight from the off. It's stimulating, it's complex. There's a bit of nice orange zestiness, a bit of dried orange, a bit of dark chocolate orange. And now there's just a surprising splash of lime juice of all things. But when it sort of jumps out there, it's really refreshing and very pleasing as well. But now we're straight back to the milk chocolate. And as it develops, it brings you right into a lovely, fine, beautiful, aromatic coffee note. And that coffee note is a reminiscent of a, a nice, bold, pick-me-up breakfast blend. And it brings with it aromas and thoughts of like well done toast with good big dollop of melted butter on top and a few scoops of nice rich honey and there's some demerara sugar in there as well now really satisfyingly and this is really bringing a smile to my face it's it's bringing back memories of my recent uh, reviews of the edredor series that i did and anything that reminds me of Edredor is in the right ballpark because if you know me at all, if you've seen those reviews, you'll know that I just love, love, love Edredor. And what it's bringing back to me is that kind of funkishness that I got with Edredor. And that's a dark, damp, dagginess, a bit of earthiness, a bit of barrel char. But this, while it sounds maybe to the unseasoned whiskey enthusiast a bit strange to be saying things like that, what it means to me is that it's really given off those natural flavours, the fullness, the goodness of the cask and the cask strength and it's really delivering in all those fonts. This is complex on the nose. There's lots of aromas going on. It's just a really, really beautiful nosing experience. So, so good. So let's get right into the palate. Slauncha. Cherry and chocolate, creme brulee, espresso coffee, and there's a nice, orange 
zesty, dark chocolate heat, but it's not in any way spicy. It actually amplifies all those beautiful, lovely, rich flavours. Really, really impressive first sip. Now the influence from the sherry casks is really coming into play here. They're quite prominent. Initially it's sultana, then the raisins. But what's really good about it is they're luscious, they're juicy. And even more than that, there's a nice vibrancy with them. They really are full bodied, full of flavor, have a bit of punch and there's that orangey overtone as well and a bit of dark chocolate in there too god this is good it's like there's a party in your mouth well i was going to say everyone's invited not everyone just the good ones no riffraff in here now i'm getting on plums and dates some fresh coffee beans barrel char a real deep rich Barrel char, not like the dry and tannic stuff you usually get. It's <clears throat> mouthfeel here, it's just lovely, it's oily. And <clears throat> that barrel char that comes with it, with a bit of earthiness, has a lovely texture to it. It just makes you want to chew the whiskey, chew it to get more and more of those rich, deep, full bodied flavours out of it. This is just an amazingly good whiskey, folks. It's just one that makes you want to keep coming back for more. The mouthfeel is divine. It's got a nice oiliness to it. And there's a lovely velvety smooth sheen. And what that does, it ensures that all those beautiful flavors are locked right in there. So you can keep on savor them for even longer. And then we come to the finish. It's just amazing. It's super long and it lingers with nice notes that are rich sherry sultanas, the finest of finest coffees and some nice rich vibrant plum as well. Now this is going to set you back around 60 quid but I'll tell you what, it's money well spent. It's worth every penny. What you've got here really is a beast, a true beast of Highland single malt scotch, but that beast has been raised with care and finesse to know its place, to know its power, to know its station, and then has been released to unleash that power in a dignified and elegant controlled way for the enjoyment of whiskey connoisseurs like you and me. This really is a wonderfully well put together whiskey and I really do have to raise my glass to Rachel Barry and the team there at Glendronic because this really is a wonderful, wonderful whiskey and it truly does deserve a whiskey straight score of 93. So once again folks, thanks for watching, thanks for your ongoing support, it really does mean a lot to me and one thing that I've really found over the last few weeks when most of us are in lockdown is that we're part of a very special community here, the Whiskey Tube community. Many of us have never met but we're all there for each other, we connect on a different level but we're all friends and one day most of us will get together we will meet on the other side of what's going on at the moment and I look forward to that day so keep on doing what you're doing folks and keep on looking after yourselves looking after each other and until the next time make sure you drink your whiskey the way you like it. Sláinte. If you've watched right to the end, you're an absolute star and I really do appreciate it. So click on these other videos, take a look at them, let me know what you think. And while you're at it, if you fancy helping the channel out, have a look at my Patreon and don't forget to follow me 
on my other social media platforms.